A very warm welcome to another incredible core workout. Next up is a pulse up, that's basically like a reverse crunch, but we're just lifting the legs in smooth movements up and down, so it's not a full reverse crunch. So join me. I'm readjusting here so that you can see it's literally just the bum moving a bit up and down. The next exercise is a bicycle crunch. Opposite leg, opposite elbow. And remember here, don't crunch in the chest but keep it as open as possible. And if you can't lower your legs like me, take it 45 degrees. It doesn't need to go down as low as mine. Remember, you will get fit and your core will get stronger. Next up is a plank dip. And we're going to go side to side. If it's too difficult for you to keep your back straight like this, then go down on your knees. And really try here to touch the floor as you go side to side. So get, let's get up and get moving into a standing crunch. Opposite leg, opposite elbow. So join me. This is basically like a bicycle crunch, but it's just standing. So we're repeating, exercising those obliques. Ready to switch sides. So always remember what you do on the one side, you need to repeat on the other side. And really focus on touching those knees when you make that twist. Next exercise, we're moving into a downward dog with thumb toe touches. So get down on your mat, form your triangle position, and let's touch those toes. Opposite ankle, opposite arm. Almost done, I promise. Get back down on the floor and get ready for your bent leg jack knot. So lie on your back straight and straighten your legs as well as your arms and bring them together and straighten them out again. If it's easier for you, you can always place your hands on your tummy and extend it from there. Keep your legs straight and take them down as low as you possibly can. Stay in a plank position. Next up, we're tackling commandos. So it's a basic high plank with some ups and downs. First, do the left hand, left hand side, and then move to the right hand side. Now start with the right hand side.
up and get rid of your mats. We're now moving into a mountain climber twist. So keep your back as flat as possible, opposite leg, opposite elbow. last exercise is just some all natural basic planks so get down keep your back as straight as possible follow along just a reminder if this is too difficult for you and your back hurts you can go down on your knees Last exercise is a plank jump. So your legs, your feet should be outside your mat and you simply jump back into your high plank position. If this hurts, simply just maintain a high plank without a jump. Just a few more reps to go and then it brings us to the end for today. Remember to hit like, to subscribe and to comment your favorite exercise for today.